Now you see me from 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another Patreon request movie coming at you guys on the channel. Here today from the homie Christopher Larimer. Shout out to him for requesting this over on Patreon, man. Now you see me. I haven't seen it before, obviously, but I did take a quick little peek at the cast, and it looks like we got a stacked cast for this one, man. I believe this is supposed to be a crime slash thriller movie, and you guys know of me some thriller movies. I love me crime movies, so these two together is going to be fantastic, man. Super excited to check this out. I am still getting over a little bit of a cold, so if you hear me sniffling or coughing throughout the video, I do apologize, but nonetheless, the show must go on. So guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie. Before we do, I do ask for you guys are new to the channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below you guys will see you next video drop a like on the video for your boy full reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff new and if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie my job to take that most precious of gifts you give me your attention and use it against you magic tricks i was never big into magic tricks really i mean i guess there was a phase i went through where i was kind of into like card tricks and stuff but that's about it I want you to see one card and not this one. That's too obvious. Pay close attention. Seven of diamonds. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Seven of diamonds. The closer you look, the less you see. Damn. crazy bro i know magic tricks and stuff like that there's always a secret behind it it's normally like when they, they're getting you to pay attention to one thing they're doing it over here right and woody harrelson bill from me you can have it get it if you can say your name you can have it mm. <laughs> all right don't tell me um beach cocktails florida Look, it was a business trip. I mean, it, it is a kind of business, maybe. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J, Jean, Jane, Janet. It's not your best friend, is it? Your sister! Oh, shit. You want this to go away? Yes. Okay, pull out your wallet. Come on. Damn. Dude, dude runs them for they shit. Every time you see or even think of Janet, you're going to picture me <coughs> naked. And that's not a pretty sight. Yeah. Uh, at least he did that too, man, right? So he won't ever do it again. What a piece of shit. Some people just aren't to be hypnotized. Oh. Come on. Honey, I did it wrong? No, no, you did it fine. What do you Wow. Dude just made him some money. I wonder how many times he's done that with people. That's so crazy. I don't know if I believe in hypnosis. Right? I've never had it done on me or tried it or anything like that, but I don't know. I mean, I guess it's one of those things you have to be in the... You have to have it done on you and have it work to really believe it, right? What if you tell me how this trick is done? I have an ordinary spoon from Mel's Deli right here in Brooklyn. Check it out. James Franco? No, Bro his brother? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Thank you, how's that rap? How you doing, man? Oh, look at this! Looks like we got a spoon in the stem. Damn. You said you would. Nice wallet. You have a very good eye, sir. Thanks. He's the only one who didn't pull this off, huh? Wallet. Stole his wallet too. And he gave it to that guy probably, huh? That he bumped into. Stop that guy! Stop that guy in the leather jacket! He's got my wallet! <laughs> wow. So we're signing up for all these different people to come together probably, huh? I knew a couple of these actors in here, but some of them I didn't know, man. I know we got our boy Mark in here too, the Hulk. Bro, see, doing stuff like this is crazy. Because what if it doesn't work one time? Then you're fucked, right? She fucking with them? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is she being serious? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, bro. This is what I was talking about. All it takes is one time. Unless this is part of the show, too. This is bullshit. Whoever thought of this is a sick sadist. 
damn it's part of it bro but i mean dude there's times like that where she, you know they can't get out and they do end up dying whether it's from drowning or the shark eats them or whatever right how did you do that son? the seven of diamonds on the side of the tower yes that's a trade secret uh -uh. i'll give you a hint it involved uh bribing the tower electrician how much uh 50 bucks <laughs> so hard. it was the seven of diamonds but that's camera tricks too right Mm. Oh, oh, I love your shampoo. Mm. Whoa, hold on. What? Oh, oh. Eh. <laughs> so get off me. <laughs> 45 East Devon Street. No, don't, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll call you. You don't have that <laughs> number. I'm magic. I'll find it. Have a good night. Oh, you are such an asshole. <laughs> Dude, he, he was the same actor that played in... Uh... Fuck, why can't I remember the name of it? The Mark Zuckerberg movie about Facebook, right? All of them are going to end up meeting up at this place. Social network. Oh, oh, it's good for you. Congratulations. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna scope the place out. You wait out here. I will come back and get you. Okay? Do not come in. Okay? Hey, Danny. Yeah. Not your assistant anymore. Oh, ex assistant. Oh. Oh. Apparently, none of us was the only one chosen. Let me be the first one to kick my ego to the curb. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. The door's locked. J. Daniel Atlas. Dude, I've seen everything that you have ever done. I mean, you're like, I, I idolize you, seriously. I'm a true fan. No, it's not yeah. nice to meet you. I'm Jack, by the way. Question, did you get one of these? Yeah, oh, yeah. Death. The high priestess. And the lover. <laughs> Three minutes. Huh? <laughs> so, uh, what are we, are we, we waiting for someone? Why, why are we just... The door's, door's locked. locked. Oh, no, nothing, nothing's <laughs> ever locked. <laughs> Each person has a role to play, right? He's the one who's got to open it. Maybe somebody that's trying to put together some type of team. What is this place? That's why they each have different cards, different roles. What's it say? Now you don't. A rose by any other name. Oh. oh. Dad, what's happening? Let's guess. Wait, what do you think this is all about? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Thank you for the delay. Electricity's out. Camera. Well, let's check. Ah. Oh. Who do you think did this? I don't know, but I really want to meet them. It's a show. Maybe for all of them to do a show together. Now you see me. And that's what the the card was, right? Now you see me, now you don't. Arthur Tressler and the MGM Grand probably presents The Four that's the logo. Oh. Thank you. Tonight, we are going to rob a bank. Quite literally, maybe this is the crime aspect when it comes into play, right? Maybe they do heists. One, two, three. <laughs> they cheered for that. <laughs> that was literally just a high five. Oh, shit. Morgan Freeman. Absolutely no recording allowed during the performance. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> okay. That's what he wanted. Morgan Freeman. Is the person sitting next to him, did she play in Vampire Diaries? Row number five. Where is that? And, uh, Henley, could I please have a random seat number? Oh, lucky number 13. Sure, please stand up. Oh, shit. Well, my name is uh, Etienne Forcier, and my bank is uh, Crédit Républicain de Paris. French, okay. Uh, we were hoping for something a little more local. Uh, could you please come up to the stage? We'll, uh, we'll rob your uh. and, and while he does that, um, you probably know this man, if not from one of the many, many companies he puts his name on. He is our friend. He is our benefactor, Mr. Arthur Trest. And, uh, that Morgan. The man here with the queen nope. So oh, shit. We done our, our boy from Batman, man. You can decide for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Tressler. Thank you. And of course, once again. Dude, this is really a stack cast. I've seen some of these, but not all of them. Holy shit. And I I know Mark is supposed to be in this too still. Can you please pick a card, any card. Not that card. Oh. No, that's an American joke. You can take that one. <laughs> Show it to your friends in section B there, but but not to us. Yeah. To a hearts. Sign your name yes. there. Uh, in English if possible. Yeah. That's good. Thanks. Sign it. Now he has their sign now they have his signature. Now for one tiny detail. That's crazy. 
Holy shit. This makes me want to go to a magic show. One, two, three. I like that little French guy. Mm -hmm. Where'd he go? Damn. At the same moment in Paris. I want you to take the card that you signed out of your pocket, and I want you to take the ticket stub from tonight's show, and I want you to put it right there in the middle of the money. Dude, this is some next level shit. Impressive. All right, now, Etienne, hold on tight. You might feel a bit of a vacuum. <laughs> oh, shit. And the bank's opening right now, too, right? Dude, I can't tell if this is supposed to be kind of like part of the act somehow or if they're genuinely doing this. I think they're genuinely doing this, dude. What? Wow. Damn. What happened to the dude, though? Good night. What happened to the dude? <laughs> Nobody's questioning it or asking because they're just happy to grab the money, right? <laughs> How are they not getting caught for this shit, either? <clears throat> hey, there he is. Did you say magicians? Yeah, Dylan. Magicians. Now they are, right? What's, this couldn't have been their first show, though. FBI! Hands <coughs> where see him. Let's go. Get him up. up. Come on. Phenomenate, uh... Let's go. Get him up. Freeze, hands in there. Oh, my. Do one of you guys mind giving us a hand with our bags? They're confident, man. Can you explain to me how you went from Las Vegas to Paris in three seconds? With the teleportation helmet. Okay, what the hell's going on here? He was hypnotized during the show. Oh. He's useless. Okay, I'll deal with you when I'm done with this other Everybody bullshit. plays a part, right? Because, old oh boy, he does the hypnotiz he does the hypnotization, right? During the show, half the audience was hypnotized to believe they were in the Philharmonic. I guess it... Bullshit. was a trigger word. <sighs> okay. Hey, hey. Ecoute. Okay, I need a timeout. <laughs> so which one of these idiots do you want to talk to first? Him? Yeah. He's the one who does the hypnotization, right? Everyone plays a role. Tranny Tuesday. Well, it's an arrangement he and his wife have, or might not have, if you believe everything Agent Fuller is saying to be correct. <laughs> <laughs> the proud tradition in the FBI of men wearing dresses. Mm -hmm. No shame, Agent Fuller. No shame. Nah, <laughs> he said. <laughs> you can even hypnotize people over the phone. Hmm. Some big tours around the U.S. for a few years. Two TV specials. Glory days. Then your mm -hmm. brother slash manager disappeared with all your hard-earned money. Did Ooh. you research? Did you? IRS audit. Back taxes. Yeah, you've had a long, hard slog back into the limelight, haven't you, Mr. Damn. McKinney? Yes, indeed it has, and I do appreciate that trip down memory lane. A lot of backstory there for him, man. Start. Okay, now you listen to me. I'm gonna ask you think there's a DA in the state of Nevada who'd be willing to make sense of this to a jury, then we have a show to perform. And you, Agent Rhodes, have a drawing board to get back to. Is this mm. your first date? <laughs> what? You should consider the fact that she has a lot of big secrets. And I know the first one is that this is your first time off the desk, Ooh. isn't it? First time in the field. Listen, you have what we in the business like to call nothing up your sleeve. Damn. And you know it. Don't draw him in. I love the cockiness and confidence. Ah, you have big daddy issues. Okay, that's enough. I'll tell you what, your average therapist is going to charge you two, three hundred for this session. Me, I'll take a tenner. <laughs> The instant that you even show the slightest crack in that smug facade, I'll be there. I'll be all over you like... Like white on rice? Mm -hmm. Sorry. that's. Not she wants to laugh. Let me warn you. I want you to follow. Because no matter what you think you might know, we will always be one step, three steps, seven steps ahead of you. And just when you think you're catching up, that's when we'll be right behind you. And at no Damn. time will you be anywhere other than exactly where I want you to be. So come close. Get, get all over me because the closer you think you are, the less you'll actually see. I'm going to mm. nail you. <laughs> Damn. Took him off and put him on him. Holy shit. Nothing wrong with that soda, miss? Ooh. Damn. Always be the smartest guy in the room. Ooh. That's such a flex. That was dope as hell. I want to see the other interviews with the other two. Guess they hadn't talked to them yet, huh? That was so good, dude. So good. But it's... It, bro, he has, they have such a cockiness to them. Such, such a high level of confidence in what they're doing. Most of it was just filler. People that trust are dragged in to pack the room. But guess who was sitting there in the back filming the whole damn thing? I don't know. 
Thaddeus Bradley. Morgan Freeman, right? He debunks magicians. He exposes them. He shows you how they do their tricks. Get him on the phone. I did. You're having lunch with him in 45. Good. He's actually quite good. Really? Oh, uh, yep. It is him. That's definitely not the girl from Vampire Diaries. Sure, I can't interest you in a glass of wine. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Thank you, sir. We're, we're working. I would take one. Eh? <laughs> Water to wine. Wow. That's incredible. That's amazing. Red Trying to kiss ass. Bombed. Is that how Jesus did it? That's incredible. You're the game. You're being played. And your pathetic attempts at fawning to gain my trust. I mean, come on. Uh, yep. The kiss ass. My special comes out next month. Or I could just oh. bring you in on obstruction charges and force you to tell me. Unless, of course, what you're trying to say to me is that you actually don't know how they did it. Yeah. Just cut straight to it, man. When a magician waves his hand and says, this is where the magic is happening, the real trick is happening somewhere else. Yep. Now we'll just pull this down all safe and snug. When you're ready to go to Paris, just say the magic word. Blow me. Eh? That's the five. Oh, yeah. oh he just got dropped straight below. Welcome to the City of Light, Agent Rhodes. Hardy, har, har. What was with the helmet? My fun. So he's a plant. It was a dupe, not a plant. They chose Ooh. him. They knew which seat he was in. No, no, no. The audience picked the seat. Unless, of course, the audience didn't pick the seat. They let them think they picked the seat. All the balls were the same, maybe? Actually, they were just palming the ball with the seat mm. number they wanted. Smart. We are looking at row number five. Smart. That they targeted a shipment of freshly minted money headed to the Frenchman's bank on board an armored truck. Wow. Which, of course, is just as hard to break into unless you're already inside wow so they really are straight up doing heists what they are to you trick yes it's it's gimmicks it's barnum statements it's reading the eyes body language if I get it's it. such an easy thing why don't you do henley yeah danny why don't you do me no you're kidding it. Me. i'll do uh I'll do, do me oh yeah yeah do art even better art yeah but i warn you i can be difficult to read when i want to be just uh, <clears throat> stay with me okay Art, you were a tough kid you know kind of a real rapscallion you had a dog a real tough dog a brutish breed like a real i want to say bend the bulldog actually i was a prissy little tot i had a fluffy white cat called snuffles <laughs> <laughs> completely off you had an uncle on your mother's side a real masculine name a real kind of salt of the earth you know real stick it to you <laughs> like it was uh some kind of paul yeah look at him Okay, you know what? I got nothing. Nearly though. Was I? Yeah, my uncle's name was Cushman Armitage. <laughs> really? Snuffles and Cushman Armitage. That was your childhood. Damn, dude. It's such a good movie so far already. I love it. These are the type of movies I love, man. I want two each inside of here. The other 30 around here. Roofs, alleys, balconies, eyes on the horsemen at all times. Yes, sir. This is the thing. I think the, the horsemen already know they're going to be here, right? He said they'd be a step ahead, seven steps ahead. Lay on the trike? In Central Park, he has a guy pick a card and sign it. Then he goes to a tree that's been there 20 years. They fill the tree in half. Inside the tree, in stained glass, the card with the signature. How did you do that? I have no idea, but I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Excuse me. You gotta learn to understand. What tracking bracelet? He has every member of his crew wearing a tracking bracelet. So, as long as Alice is tracking them, Next. our boys can track Alice from right here in the mobile command unit. He probably, this is the thing, man. He probably knows that too, right? Like, this is all part of it, dude. Do you really think it's possible there's a treat horseman? Hmm. Yeah. The mastermind behind it all, right? The guy in the chair, so to speak. Check. Three and a half million. To walk away? To fly away my jet mm. is at your disposal he's getting close that's why this isn't the first time i've been threatened and i'm still here oh. Just, however the first time you've been threatened by me damn you do anything. oops according to superstition one who uses a doll to enact one's own wrath is likely to bring that very wrath unto himself oh I thought you didn't believe in magic. Damn. Good dialogue there, dude. I'm just, I'm still blown away by the cast we have for this movie, man. It's so good.
We'd like to uh, single out two people in particular, a man and a woman, to whom we'd like to dedicate tonight's performance. FBI agent Dylan Rhodes and the lovely, if somewhat inexperienced, Interpol mm -hmm. agent Alma Dre, everyone. Boo! Take sweet little Fluffy here and put her inside this mystery box. Yes. You will say the magic word? Uh, abracadabra. Yes, and I will wave this magic wand for no reason. <laughs> and then Fluffy has magically vanished before your very eyes. And sleep, down, down, sleep, sleep, completely sleep, good, good, sleep, sleep. And now... Was that guy they last zoomed in on a setup? When you hear mm. the word freeze, you are all football players. Now we've all heard of pulling the rabbit out of the hat, but has anyone heard of pulling a hat out of a rabbit? Now that was impressive. Damn. That's gonna come back, man. Oh no. And maybe he said freeze because of what uh, the FBI agent's gonna say, right? Because the cops, they always say freeze. See, seeing this in a movie, you know it's all set up and stuff. But if I were to see this live, dude, I'd be like, what the fuck? Even he's a little impressed, our boy Morgan. Uh, I guess you have lost some weight. <laughs> Damn. That was all part of it. Look, she wanted to clap. <laughs> Bro, see, if I see that live, like, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm gonna be clapping and shit, like... This makes me want to go to a magic show, man! Giuseppe, is your bank balance $562 as of today? Yeah, that's what I got. Damn, don't expose her like that. Oh, oh yeah, uh, I almost forgot. This evening would not be possible if it weren't for our great benefactor, Arthur Tress. Ooh. They're going to specifically call him out so that they look at him, right? North of 140, am I right? That's 140 million, by the way. How can he be right about his balance and everyone else be wrong? I think possibly because he too is wrong. Now, everybody take out your paper and using the flashlight under your seat, start to warm up that paper. How much they give him? Don't worry, we have a flashlight for you. Yes. Bam. Big ass flashlight. Now it says $70,000 less. Hmm. Damn. Sefa, can you stand yes. up? Now, what, what is your new number? $70,562 now in my account. I'd be checking my bank account. I, I'd be checking the bank app first to be sure. Wow. Damn. Has gone down another 280k. Gina Robertson. Look at him, he's pissed. <laughs> Everyone in this room was a victim of the hard times that hit one of America's most treasured cities. Some of you lost your houses, but all of you were insured by the same company. Tressler Insurance. Uh. You were abandoned. You were loopholed. Out of your settlements. This is all for show, correct? Oh, I mean, we're doing it on stage in front of a paying audience? Then yes, Whoa. it's for show. Damn. $2,000 on my bank account. It says it right here on my cell phone. Everybody look at your cell Damn. phone right now. Everybody. Did they betray him too? Security questions, for instance, like, I don't know, your mother's maiden name or, or the name of your first pet. Where would we get Damn. that information, Art? That's you what they... certainly would never tell us. That's what he did on the plane. Do not let them get away. Hey, let He's going to yell freeze. Wow. That's why they asked him that stuff on the plane. Dude got finessed in front of everyone. He's going to yell freeze. Yep. Damn. Full circle. <laughs> this is some crazy shit. Oof. The tracker. He knows about the tracker. He's going to lead him somewhere else. I guarantee it. He's in the bathroom. I have him in the bathroom. No, no, no. <laughs> hey. What? I'm tracking myself. Yep. <laughs> That's what the cop did, right? Stuck it in his pocket. Calling into question the efficacy of the FBI's <clears throat> task force, as well as the man in charge of the investigation, Special Agent Dylan Rhodes, who was yep. publicly making him look stupid. 
How do you like your horseman? Fricasseed or fried? Shredded. Damn. If he wasn't on this shit, they might be getting away with it. I don't know, though, because like I said, there's three movies, I think, in this series. So I wonder if they end up, you know, into this movie pretty much clean. Is Jack still here? Yep, up there. The vault for the trick. Dude got dead silence on. Yo, my man can... He got some moves! Holy shit! He's gotta go help him or he's gonna be fucked, right? Five is clear. Standing by for six. You little shit. You little shit. What game you playing? What game you playing? We're all good at six. Move to seven. Copy that. Damn. So cool. The little fake paper. Magic. So good. I love that they include all these little tricks in it. Really? Yep. Damn. You know them paper cuts hurt. That's a long way down. Oh my gosh, he's following. Oh. Oh. Did he just handcuff them together? Oh my gosh. Probably took their keys too. Wow. Oh shit. Is anyone even in that? What dude, they did do a switcheroo thing, huh? No, it is him. What? This has to be part of it, dude. The way he he did it he did it on purpose. The way he let, let out that little cheer right before he did it. This he it's got to be him like faking his death, right? Similar to the story she was telling about the guy in the river. Right? Except for him, he actually died, right? He had to have faked his death here. that took the life of Jack Wilder, one of the so-called four horsemen. The whereabouts of the other three horsemen remain unknown at this time. Was it really his death, dude? I don't know what to believe. The point is, the point of why we are here is to say that we are not, we cannot quit now. We've started something bigger than all of us. We have to finish it. If, if, if he shows up at the end of the movie, I wouldn't be surprised. I think I'd be more surprised if he's actually dead. Hey, where's the safe? Damn. Where's the safe? Are they going to get locked in here? What happened? You tell me what's going on, because this is bullshit. No. Damn. The bullshit code, right? That was the word. Shadow and D major. Where's the safe? His team's loading the truck. Wow. Hypnosis, man. Well, when I first met you, I thought you were kind of a uh, dick. <laughs> That's it. No, no. That... <laughs> Yeah. I'm touched. Yeah, just from the heart. Well, I didn't tell you where I was touched. <laughs> Even if there is no I, if we were completely played and we spend the next 20 years in jail, then I just want to say that. I know. A little too sentimental for me. Oh, God. I think they're going to be out here waiting, right? Rhodes and her. Yeah. What the hell? Yep. Uh. Hello, New York. Thank you for the magic, and thank you for being such an incredible and dedicated audience. Oh, they're gonna get to him. Put away. Damn. This has been one hell of a ride for all of us. That. But it's time 
for us to disappear. Damn. Some of the money from the safe, huh? You see that? What? That? It's not real money. Where's the real money? Oh shit. They planted it on him. Wow. You're under arrest. Hands in the air. Now. He got got. Now, Ooh. while you were busy playing with balloon animals, someone was breaking into the warehouse. Jack! Oh, shit, he is still alive! And he was the one who picked the locks before. No, no way, he died right in front of my eyes. Unless, of course, he didn't. Damn, I knew it. I knew there was no way he could have died there. It had to have been a setup. That's always one of the biggest things, right? Just like she did at the start with her show, thinking she died to the piranhas. Led you to the bridge where the other horsemen were waiting with an identical replacement car. Wow. It only took a split second for you to lose contact with it, make the switch. Wow. So when you crawled into that burning car, you almost died trying to rescue what I assume was a cadaver from the mall. Damn. Why go through such a elaborate and dangerous plan just to frame one guy? They never kept any of the money they took. Yeah, that's, that's the eye. What if all this was just leading up to us getting mugged in Central Park at 2 a.m.? No, I'm telling mm. you, we're right where we need to be. We just have to find that. Maybe it's the guy who was supposed to die. Deep down inside, you wanted nothing more than to be part of the eye, but you were never invited. So you try to destroy them. But mm. instead, what happens? You pissed them off. Mm. And that's why they went after him. Who? I don't know who. But they had to have access to the warehouse. Always a step ahead of me. And the FBI. <laughs> what if it's Rhodes? But consistently. Almost as if they were on the end. Rhodes is a part of it. That's why he asked to speak to him alone. You. Why? I can't tell you how long I waited. See the look on your face. Lionel Shrike. He didn't die. Dylan? Wait a minute. Dylan, how did this happen? He was the one in the hoodie always watching. <laughs> Dylan! Why? I think that's Lionel Shrike, right? Why? Maybe? And that's why he went after him, right? Because the bank and everything, there was always a reason. I have never seen her speechless. I take that as a huge compliment. Hey man, I, I'm so sorry for kicking your ass, really. <laughs> hey, listen, for the record. Elkhorn started as a safe manufacturer. They used cheap steel, they cut corners, and when he got to the bottom of the river, the safe warped and he was trapped. He was your father. Oh. When my father said he had to go to work, you could see that I didn't want him to leave. So he gave me his watch and he told me to count the seconds until he came back. I've never let his watch stop since then. I planned, I worked out every detail, but the one thing that I couldn't imagine happening was you. Falling in love. One more secret to lock away. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Now you see me from 2013. Is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What a twist at the end. Throughout the entire movie, I never thought, you know, that Rhodes was in on it until we came up to the end. There was a point like right before he went into the cell, I was like, maybe it's him. And then I was like, nah, no way. I thought maybe he was Lionel Shrike, but it's his son. It makes sense. I, I guess I never really paid too much attention to how old it was, how old the thing was. They, because they focused a lot on the fact that they never found his body and stuff, you know, but this casting was insane, man. Like, I wonder if the, we, we gotta have the same cast members or at least some of the same cast members in the following one you know for at least the four horse people right minimum yeah dave franco not james franco his brother michael kane insane i think morgan freeman michael kane probably won't be in the next one but as far as like the five main characters i guess five horse people now right people part of the eye i feel like we'd have to use the same characters man regardless i, I hadn't heard about this movie before and for it to have this crazy of a cast as good of a story like i don't know i'm I, I, like i'm kind of a sucker for you know thriller crime 
movies i think that's some of my favorite genre like this was extremely fucking good prisoners was extremely fucking good zodiac zodiac probably one of my favorite movies i've i've seen top 10 top 15 easily you know and obviously mark was in that too robert downey jr and stuff had a great casting as well i don't know what it is about the crime thriller movies that i just love so much the genre in general i mean like i don't really like outside of youtube i don't watch tv necessarily right like outside of recording and stuff just because i, I record so much stuff i don't really do it in my other free time so to speak i kind of like i wouldn't mind getting into some tv shows that are in this uh, in this genre you know the thriller crime type genre and i know there's a lot of them out there too man but there's something about them that i just love it dude i love the mystery too i love trying to figure out what happened because there's always some twists and some turns like in zodiac and in this right like throughout the entire movie it's like okay did they want did they do that because they wanted them to think this or did they do that because you know it's set up for later or did they really get outsmarted you know what i mean and it's just so crazy because you always go back and forth with that same thing like with jack dying i'm like dude okay that's like one of the biggest bits in any ma magician show is faking their death right kind of like she did at the start henley did at the start with the piranhas so when he blew up in the car i was like no fucking way but then the more they pushed it through i was like damn maybe he actually did end up dying right but then they finally fucking reveal it and see what happened and it's just so damn good but you see the reason behind everything why they went after that bank why they went after arthur right and then why in the end the biggest kind of reveal of it all why he went after thaddeus because thaddeus had you know he, he blames him for his dad's death because thaddeus was the one revealing all the fake magic not fake magic but revealing how the magic was done so his dad pushed himself i wouldn't say further than he should have right because he said it was the um elkhorn safe company the, the safe company's fault because they used cheap metal and the thing ended up warping so it probably got stuck even though he was able to unlock it just you know if metal warps like that and it's blocking there's no way you're gonna push through that man so you kind of see it all and he ultimately blames him for his dad's death and that's why he framed him in the end too right it wasn't even about keeping the money or anything because you see they threw that all away but i just love the twists and the turns throughout the movies man um i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm gonna check out the uh, second and third one i think i will this was a stacked ass cast man regardless fantastic stuff shout out to the homie christopher larimer for requesting this over on patreon guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be able on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did make sure to drop a like and comment down below What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on patreon man Shout out to the homie that's so gordo the homie Alexander Collins and the homie Christopher Larimer your guys support is much appreciated if you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.